It is a shot of the morning an Ohio man paints his entire lawn into a Trump 2020 banner. J.R. Majewski coloring his yard blue with a sign reading Trump 2020 keep America great. Wow. Majus <laughs> yeah, Majewski who served in Afghanistan says he wants to show his appreciation for President Trump's support for the military. The veteran says he used about 120 gallons of biodegradable paint and you can certainly see it from the sky. I wonder if they can see it from space. That is quite a big Trump lawn. Impressive, sir. Uh, let's get reaction to that from Corey Lewandowski, Trump 2020 senior advisor. Corey, we've seen stuff like this for the president. Have you spotted any Joe Biden signs painted in anyone's lawn or on the side of their house? Only in people's basements, Pete. That's the only place I've <laughs> painted signs. And nobody's seen them. Look, the enthusiasm for President Trump is as high today as it was in 2016. And we saw this across the country where people were literally cutting their fields to say Trump 2016 or Trump 2020. People like this who go out and do it to show their support for the president. Most of the time, the left vilifies these people, but the American people stand with President Trump. Corey, the president is reacting to Biden laying out his economic plan earlier this week, and there's a whole lot perhaps in it that isn't similar to what the president's done. But of course, that Buy American stuff, the president calling it out. Take a listen. He plagiarized from me, but he can never pull it off. He likes plagiarizing. Uh, it's a plan that uh, is very radical left, but he said the right things because he's copying what I've done. But the difference is he can't do it. And he knows he's not doing that. He can't be the same because he's raising taxes way too much. He's raising everybody's taxes. He's also putting tremendous amounts of regulations back on. And those two things are two primary reasons that I created the greatest economy we've ever had. And now we're creating it again. Corey, your reaction? You know, it's amazing because the media gave Joe Biden a pass once again. He goes back to Scranton, Pennsylvania, which they call his hometown. He hasn't lived there in 66 years. You know, the statute of limitations of calling a place your home <laughs> expired after 65 years. Okay, it's not his hometown. Joe Biden is not from Scranton, Pennsylvania. And the truth is, he knows that he's never delivered for the people of Pennsylvania because when Barack Obama and Joe Biden were in office, they took all the manufacturing jobs and they shipped them overseas to China. That's what Joe Biden has done since he's been in elective office. Donald Trump said it's very simple. It's America first. We're going to buy American. We're going to hire Americans. Joe Biden knows that that is a winning message, and that's why he's stealing it from President Trump. Yeah, I mean, what he, he's been in public office longer than I've been alive. And where has his push been to buy American and hire American until he's trying to copycat someone? But you look at the plan, and it's littered with universal health care, uh, free college, reparations, blocking charter schools. I mean, it, it, is, it is ultimately a socialist and globalist wish list. But, Corey, i got to get your reaction because the president last night commuted the sentence of Roger Stone and tweeted about it uh, just, just moments ago. He said, tweet, Roger Stone was targeted by an illegal witch hunt that never should have taken place. It's the other side that are criminals, including Biden and Obama, who spied on my campaign and got caught. Your, rea your reaction, Corey? Look, I think Roger Stone was treated very unfairly. They used more men to go and get Roger Stone than I think they used on the Osama bin Laden raid. And it just so happened that one of the networks was there to watch the whole thing. Look, Roger Stone was clearly targeted by an unfair prosecution. Uh, look, I'm not the biggest fan of Roger Stone. I think you guys know that. But the way he was treated by this government should scare the hell out of every American, that they can do that to people. You know, they could do it to anybody. What they've done to Mike Flynn and Roger Stone, this president saw an injustice. He commuted the sentence, which is the right thing to do to make sure Roger has a fair trial and has a fair, a fair hearing. It's very important in our system. Comey, Brennan, Clapper, McCabe, all the names we know have never been brought to justice. It's time justice is blind, but those people need to be held accountable. Corey, is there some hypocrisy perhaps at play? All Democrats in Washington, many of them criticizing this commutation. But when we looked into the history book, President Obama issued 1,715 commutations, the most of any president in U.S. history in pretty much about the last dozen or so combined presidents. Uh, more than 500 of those commutations were for life sentences doesn't seem that there was as much criticism then. 
Hey, Griff, there's nothing to see here. If Obama did it, it must be fine. When Trump does it, it's wrong. That's the Trump derangement syndrome that the media and the left has had since he came down that big, beautiful golden escalator. There you have it. <laughs> Corey All Lewandowski, right, Corey. thank you very much for your time. Go paint your lawn. Thanks, if you're guys. dedicated, you will paint your lawn. <laughs> Thanks, Corey. Good luck with that. Thank you. You got it.